guys, but my motorcycle keys were in my helmet. I can't lose that, that's important. Remind me it's my pocket, please, before I freak out and can't find my keys. So I made tofu sticks for breakfast. I like French toast sticks, but it's tofu in teriyaki. So nothing like French toast sticks. I told you on Sunday, remind me I put my keys in my pants so when I can't find my keys, I don't freak out. But you just let me freak out. All right, my beautiful girl. The gray has come to an end. All right, taking the wrap off from behind the cage. Oh, you can see the scratch marks from when I got rear-ended. And that's why we play wrap right on, is to hide the damage. All right, so this is why. This is why we put a wrap on, because I got rear-ended and I slid on this side and I didn't have Impact Tech to protect me at the time. But that would not be a problem if Impact Tech had existed on my bike at the point of impact. But this is why we have wraps, to make all that badness go away. Hey. Hey, how are you? Yeah, it's time. What are you doing? Turn your silver. You're going to wrap it? Yeah, she's going to be this color. She looks like a cop right now, so we don't want that. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Have you ever wrapped before? Um, yeah, I wrapped her the last two times. Oh, good. So she was gray a second ago. Yeah, she used to be this color. It's like... I remember. Gray. Is it hard to do? I mean, it's not easy, but it's not impossible. Right. I mean, if you like arts and crafts, it's easy. I like arts and crafts. Yeah. You just need a heat gun? Yeah, just a heat gun and a bunch of these little edging tools that like push it into the cracks. And... Yeah. Does it scratch easy? Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? You know? Are you skinning her? Yeah. I never did do my helmet. I just I just kept the bike changing colors. I couldn't pick one. You know, walking the re skin of the bike. What does that mean? She's getting a new color. So I've never even heard of this. Wrapping, oh. wrapping cars? Oh, I know they did that in like a bathroom or something. Did you do it yourself? Yeah. Wow. She's actually keeping her hooks in this Yeah, she's going to be this color. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so she'll look pretty cool. Nice. See you guys. Bye. Bye. See you. It seems like it would be yes, really hard. I cannot tell you how many times I bend my keys by accident. Just because of where I leave them. Oh, she's going to look so cool. Right now, it just looks like she's wearing a mask, <laughs> but that's all right. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. We just got the front and the back done. It's going to look good. I had to take a break from working on the motorcycle for my annual youthening aka Botox and fillers because I might be 40 but I'm not gonna look 40. Okay so I just get a little bit done here and there to kind of combat aging. So today I went and had my lips filled like crazy filled. I haven't had them filled in four years. I used to have big lips and then I noticed in pictures lately they've been looking a little depleted so I had them jacked all the way back up and this will be it for like a solid year at least because Lip filler doesn't really fully dissipate, I don't think, in my opinion. Um, so these are some big ass lips right now, but I love them. Ooh, so good. Um, I had Botox to freeze my scowl lines, to do my crow's feet, and when I lift my eyebrows, I have two wrinkles on either side. Got rid of those. Well, it takes 10 days for Botox to kick in, so we're getting rid of those. Um, before this appointment, I've had my cheeks filled up here. I've had my nasal labial uh, folds filled in like a vial each. Um, so this was the last photo I took when I was 34 before I decided to get Botox or filler for the very first time. And here's a before and after, me at 34 and me at 40.